Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to share with you three of my top recommendations for staying productive while working from home. I'm Sarah Stilke. I'm a scientist and my channel is all about how to level up to become more productive and successful. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making more content like this. Now let's get into it. Like many people, I used to commute to work every single day and work in my 9-to-5 job as a protein characterization scientist at a large pharmaceutical company. I shared an office space with two other people, and for several years, this was just normal for me. Then in 2018, I landed a job with my current company that I called the travel job. I would spend lots of time on the road visiting customers, but aside from those visits, the job was technically work from home. This was before COVID, of course, and before work from home was as widely accepted. I didn't really have any guidelines for how to be productive while working from home, but five years and one pandemic later, I feel like I finally found a good balance for optimizing productivity while working from home. Here are three of my top tips in no particular order of importance. Tip number one for working productively from home is to have your own designated space for working. When I first started working from home, I would snuggle into my favorite space on the couch with a big fluffy blanket and bust out my laptop. Other times, I would lounge in bed working from home. I quickly learned that these are big mistakes. One of the benefits of going to an office to work is that you have a designated environment to get into the mindset of work. But when you're working from home, it's easy to blur the lines between the work zone and the home zone. When you are in your home zone, your brain feels permission to relax and decompress from thinking about work. Once you blur the lines between the work and home spaces, one of two things tends to happen. One, you might find yourself thinking about work all the time and be mentally unable to ever stop working. Or two, you might find yourself unable to focus on work because your brain will remain in that relaxed home state. The solution for this is to set up a designated space for work so that when you are in that space, your brain can know that it's time to work, and when you step away, you are better able to unplug mentally and physically from work. If you are fortunate enough to have a dedicated room for a home office, this would obviously be the ideal situation. But even setting up a desk in a corner that you designate as your work zone will be a good solution. If possible, try not to set up your workspace in the bedroom, as this can cause difficulty switching between working and sleeping. In my own home, I just have a little dining area that serves as my home office. Once I'm done with work for the day, I leave that area and find that I'm pretty much able to ignore it until I'm ready to start working again. This would be the ideal way to maintain work-life balance when the two things are sharing a physical space. Tip number two for productively working from home is to maintain set hours for working from home and stick to them. Depending on the kind of work that you do, Nobody may actually notice that you're not working if you start a little bit late. When I first started working from home full-time, if I didn't have my first meeting until 10 a.m., it was tempting to sleep in a little bit later because I knew that nobody would actually notice I wasn't starting at my normal 8 a.m. time. With working from home, it's important to hold yourself accountable and not wait for somebody else to hold you accountable. It will also help you maintain a healthy routine if you wake up at the same time every day and try to start working from home at the same time every day. On the other side of that, it can be easy to skip lunch while working from home or lose track of time and work late. It can be easy to walk 10 feet to the fridge at lunchtime and eat at your desk while working, or even to gobble down your lunch in five minutes, skipping the rest of your midday break. I would advise you to note your work start and end times in your calendar and actually block off time for a lunch break every day. This way, you can add a little more structure into your day and make sure you are respecting your own boundaries and routines that are generally easier to observe when working from an actual office. Tip number three for working productively from home may sound silly, but it's still super important, and that is to make sure that you leave the house every day. On an average workday when you work in the office, you will leave the house, and when you come back at the end of the day, you may prepare dinner at home and enjoy a quiet evening in front of the TV before going to bed. If you do that while working from home, days can go by, and without even realizing it, you might notice that you haven't left the house in days. This can be bad for both your physical and mental health, so make sure that you actively leave the house every day. Maybe you can leave the house to go enjoy lunch at a local restaurant, or step out for a 20-minute walk between meetings, or attend a workout class after work is over. 
With working from home, it can be shockingly easy to end up spending all day in the house in front of a screen. Just make sure to set aside time to get out and bonus points if you socially interact with other people in person during that time. And those are my top three tips for staying productive while working from home. Number one is to set aside a physical space for your work. Number two is to set healthy boundaries with your time. And number three is to make sure that you leave the house every day. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are any other tips from working from home that have helped you. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you could please like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.